paint in my in my breath. Cute. You know how we always say it's so cute and you never do anything about it? This is the time. You gotta bloop, 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 bloop. You gotta get that water in the bottle. And then they will sink. In case you never paid attention to science. Get the label on. I was determined. I was determined. <laughs> I put these suckers on and I was good to go. Did I still get paint on my Apple Watch? Yes. Is there still plastic on this? Yes. Ask me if I care. I don't. I really don't. Is it perfect? No. Am I gonna show them to you anyways? Duh. I did a thing. I did a thing. I painted. I'm Hallie. I make videos on lifestyle improvement, life hacks, and DIYs. Why did I paint? Let me tell you about it. I turned a bottle that was like this, actually it was worse than this, into a bottle that's more like a dish. And that's what I'm talking about in today's video. How you can turn like your wine bottle, your beer bottle, your mason jar into something that can be a new DIY project. Um, keep listening. Keep watching. Okay, so if you're into DIY, there's basics that you need to know. You need to know how to paint and to put sticky things on things. That sounds really weird, but you need to be able to put down stickers flat and you need to know how to paint. If you can do those basic things, you can DIY. So I want to tell you how I came about doing this. So um, I like plants. I like vases. I like all these things, but I'm also a minimalist. So I don't want to spend money on all these things for no reason. So obviously you can turn it into a DIY project and save a lot of money and you just have to pay for paint. So what I did was over, I don't know, 30 days I collected all the glasses I had right so if you know you want to create something start planning and don't just you know buy a bottle of wine just for a project I mean you can but you don't have to so over I don't know it was at least 30 days I had this is a olive oil jar then I had this was like some kind of amino energy drink jar this is my glass um, jar it's not a jar this is just my glass from my maple syrup from Trader Joe's I have, that's why I have like five of these in 30 days, is that a lot? I mean, maybe it wasn't 30 days, maybe it was 60 days. But I was like, oh, this is so cute. You know how we always say it's so cute and you never do anything about it? This is the time. So this is my um, jar I had from when I had maple syrup. This was my, this is like a beer bottle, but I don't drink beer. This is my um, cider beer. I think that's what it was. You know, a little angry orchard for you. And this was my um, pepper shaker. <gasps> Let me tell you about this. Okay, let me just tell you what I did. So these are all the different bottles I had. Wine bottles. Um, that one was from that one back here. Oh, this one is from apple cider vinegar jar with the mother. Look at it. It's so cute. So all these bottles I just kept. Then you have to clean them. After you keep them, you need to rinse them out or else your place will have little bucks you don't want that so after you clean them then start storing them I just was like when I have two bags full I'm good to go so that's what I did I had two bags full grocery bags full and then I was ready to go so then once I did that taking off the labels you ever go in to take off a label and you're like I'm just gonna peel this off and the label is like oh is that what you're gonna do <laughs> it's a struggle it's a struggle so I looked up some ways the two basic ways I think find well are rubbing alcohol and hot water. I tried the hot water because I didn't feel like scrubbing. Mm. So I fell asleep last night without soaking my bottles so that I can paint. Ooh, I'm not pretty when I can't open my eyes. It's like 2 a.m. 2.46 in the morning. So I'm gonna go soak my bottles right now. I cannot even open my eyes. It burns. <laughs> but if I wanna paint these bottles, I gotta do it. Okay, my eyes are open now. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, time lapse. I can't, I can't, I can't.
So what I did was, after I realized peeling it off like that wasn't gonna do, which actually, I think my maple syrup jar was the easiest one that allowed me to do that sometimes. Um, I filled the sink with hot water, put all the bottles in there. They will all rise to the top, so you gotta put the water in the bottle. You gotta bloop, 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 bloop. You gotta get that water in the bottle, and then they will sink, in case you never paid attention to science. Okay, so once they're all in there, leave them overnight, and in the morning, they should... Okay, I'm gonna tell you, 50% of them will peel off easily, the other 50% not so much, okay? There was another five bottles that I was like, I'll see you on day two. So, and those were like my olive oil jars and stuff like that. So, once you peel them off, I will tell you that some of them that don't peel off easily, they have that extra film on it, so I was scrubbing, just with my nails. I don't really have any nails, and the little nail polish job that I did, I don't know if I have a clip of showing it, but these are my nails after. <laughs> scrubbing it's no this is just this is just from the scrubbing it's not from wear and tear in life this is literally just from me going get the label on I was determined I was determined and um, yeah so that happened so after I peeled them off then I wiped them down and then put them in a bag and was ready to go So then I'm had them outside, just put down trash bag. That's the thing, if you don't have an outside area, I wouldn't suggest doing this in like your bathtub or anything like that. You really need to go outside. So even if you just find an empty parking lot, way in the cuts, away from everybody, just lay some, some trash bags, stuff like that. I hope nobody stops you, <laughs> and I, honestly. And then just, just do that, because that's the only other suggestion I have. But um, I'm at my friend's house, so I was like, perfect, backyard paint job. So. Um, I put down some newspaper, put down some paper bags. Okay, so now I'm just going to let them dry real quick. And those ones, that was not coming off. And this is the type of bottle I really, really want to do. So that's going to be the one that I actually care about. And the rest, we'll see. And I usually don't care if I get paint on my hands, but I just knew with spray paint, I was literally gonna be holding an object and painting it, and I just didn't want all this to have paint on it. So, <laughs> I put these suckers on, and I was good to go. Did I still get paint on my Apple Watch? Yes, because this was the hand that was holding it. So be careful, don't wear your Apple Watch while you're doing this. Um, and then I started to painting the bottles that I use. You know, a lot of people ask, what kind of spray paint did you get? I just got whatever looked good. I did not have the time or patience to research what's the best for glass bottles. So this is what I got. I got this one that is like a rose gold color. Um, and they're all <laughs> they're all kind of different. Because I just was like, I like this color. What kind is it? This one is for the gray one. This one I still use. Remember when I painted my refrigerator for my kitchen makeover? It's all gone now, so I need to throw this one away. But I just still use that one. I was like, why not? And then this one. This one was my least favorite. I don't know if it's because of the paint, even though it's the same exact as the gray. But let me tell you, like, the bottom of this is still drying. And then it's so, it's so, that one didn't turn out so great. So let me tell you what did turn out great. What turned out great is majority of them. And this is my recommendation. If you're not really knowing the knowledge of paint, the way you paint a cabinet or an object is different the way you spray paint a bottle. 
I thought I was gonna have to do two coats one coat one coat I thought I was gonna have to put a lot of paint I thought I was gonna have to be close you want to be far away so it can be even the closer you get the more drip dry it gets an example of that is this poor thing that looks like it's been melting so this bottle and if you can see the texture and the bumps it's because I was spray painting close to it and I put too much so it was just so much paint that it just started to drip you know yeah it looks like the bottle's crying but it's okay it's okay um because I didn't know if I was gonna like this color or not so mm, I don't know and also bottles light glass versus dark glass I think this was more difficult to paint and I was so close to it adding more paint because this was a brown bottle it was darker colored so it's harder to cover so pay attention to that glass like this were a lot easier I actually really like the way this looks so I'm not gonna paint this one but I had another one that literally you know how you wrap your car with like a logo or something that's what this one was like and I painted two of them in the back let me show you an example I did not take off the paper and the only downside is you can see a line but other than that it's fine all the way around okay um so after I painted them, then I let them dry, let them sit overnight. I mean, I live in California, so the weather's fine. I thought that maybe a couple would fall over, but they literally have not moved from this spot. They didn't fall over. I'm so proud of them. And they're dry. I'm going to put them in a bag and ready to go. So this is what they're looking like right now. This is one coat. I was already trying to put on the second coat, but then it started to get like a little runny, almost like how you can see this one, if you can see. So don't wait till they dry. Alright, so pros and cons. Pros, it's very easy except for when you paint too close and when you have your bottles together. I was painting a brown bottle and my white bottle was close by so I have, I have brown marks. I don't know if you can see them on this one. But it's like at the end of the day, if it's on your cabinet, face it this way. Nobody will know. Nobody will know. Okay? Like when I was just grabbing these bottles. One of them, it was not dry on the bottom and I didn't know that. So I just grabbed it and I have brown paint on my hand and I have brown paint on my bottle. Does it look like doo-doo? Yes. <laughs> but it's okay. I literally can go real quick or 
just turn it this way when I have it in my house. Nobody will know, you know? Um, so yeah, I just picked regular colors. I'm obsessed with the color gray. I love things white. And then I have a little copper in my kitchen. I do not have any idea where I'm gonna put these. I might put them in my living room. I might put them in my kitchen. I might put them one in my bathroom. But I just knew this is the color theme of my home. So that's kind of how I did that. In case you're wondering if you need to know exactly where we're going to put things. You don't need to know. Um, if you want to start small, start with little things like this. If you're really beginner and you're nervous, start with little things like a pepper shaker that you got from Trader Joe's, the grocery store. And then look how cute. These, I think this is my favorite. These are my favorite. I did this one and I have one in gray. It's my favorite. Look how cute it is. And I'm thinking I'll do another video of a DIY. Uh, I'm going to be buying a lot of plants. I want to do some DIY plants. And I can put some greenery in there, maybe a little flower in there, a little some something. Maybe can hold my straws that might be biodegradable. It might not, don't judge, you know. We all have our things. Um, but yeah, I think this is my favorite one. This one, if you want to see uh, the gray. The gray one's not as fun. It's just a regular schmegler. Um, but yeah, this took me time-wise. It took me about... Mm, 25 30 minutes not because the painting took so long but because I sat there and was like what color what color I had no idea I had no plan I just knew I had the colors I had the bottles I didn't know really what color I wanted to color things so if you take out the thinking probably take the time in half um and literally even if you want to do a project with a kid like this is super simple spray painting is a little cray cray so what I did was with my uh, my friend's daughter I spray painted it and while it was still wet, I had her take a wet print brush and kind of do that. So this is her little cute, <laughs> how cute is her little project? And it says Mila right there, kind of, sort of. The paintbrush was kind of thick. So I spray painted it, I spray painted it the rose gold and she kind of got white. I just put, I spray painted a little pile. She did that. Coat one has dried and I can see it better and I don't know. I think I'm going to keep coat one fine. I'm going to first have my little helper say hey. Hi. And then I'm going to do all of these in this bag. And then if they're all done and I still have paint left, then I'll do a second coat. But right now, I kind of like just one coat. I'm okay with that. So this is what they're looking like right now. All right. So, finish the second round of bottles. <laughs> I let my friend's daughter do that one. And I'm just gonna let, let these sit overnight and hopefully they don't fall over. <laughs> so they can still pretty be pretty in the morning when I take them home. They look good. They look good. And also, doing the tops are so hard. Like, the tops are so hard to do. Is there still plastic on this? Yes. Ask me if I care. I don't. I really don't. I think this is a lot easier than painting your bottles with a brush. A quadrillion and one percent. Um, but that's it. Painted it, clean it, and now... I'm going to decide where they're going to go to my house and I'll probably do a DIY video of where they go and how I kind of take this plain bottle and make it into something fun. This looks really weird. Take this bottle and turn it into something fun. That's it. I mean, also make sure you wear something that you don't mind getting paint on you. Even if you think you're the most careful person in the entire world, there's going to be paint on you. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I didn't wear a mask. And I probably should have because I felt like there was paint in my, in my breath. But I'm alive. I'm alive the next day. So that's okay. Other than that, that's all I have to say. Short, sweet, and easy. Look! I love it. If you have any suggestions in the comments below, let me know. If you want me to DIY these into some plants, some vases, 
or anything like that. If you want to learn it, I can do it and I can let you know if it worked out. Or if you have any questions on like the type of bottles and all that jazz, comment below. Um, and I'm also taking suggestions. Any other DIYs that you want to learn, uh, let me know in the comments below and we'll try it out together. I'll let you know how it goes before you try it yourself. Um, anyways, like and subscribe because we got these DIYs, we got these vlogs, all these things coming to you this year. Look at me. I think I'm going to be consistent. I think this is the year. Maybe. Okay, bye.